Hello guys, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today, I would like to share with you guys once again Twisted Fate Ezreal and the potential I see in it as we roll over into the new patch. I was playing it earlier today and went on an absolute rampage. The deck was kind of there. It was hanging out a little bit during the earlier side of Rising Tides and found a bit of success, but I kind of got rolled over by a few of the other archetypes as time went on, especially its susceptibility towards aggro. But a list like this coming into the next patch, I suspect may be very strong. It was already pretty strong, but may receive a bit of a boost. It's not being really targeted at all. It doesn't run Karma. It runs Bilgewater and uh, Piltover, obviously because of Ezreal, and we get to use lots of awesome tools and the deck is just a lot of fun and I'm super excited to share with you guys once again. I guess we can call this a guide but it's kind of a new archetype to me and I haven't had the most experience with it but it's definitely super powerful and we are going to jump over right now and talk about the cards, why they are here and what they shall be doing. So obviously for all the uh all the uh, newbies, all the people that may not know about the deck or Ezreal in general, basically Ezreal is a combo card that towards the later half of the game, you're going to find a lot of success with them after you've targeted your opponent's enemies X amount of times with spells, he's going to level up and basically every time you use a spell, he's going to cast a mystic shot in their nexus. And that is just kind of like where the whole combo synergy comes from and the reason why we build a deck around him because he has the ability to pretty much win the game. Now this is probably the most similar for more veteran players. I guess it's kind of like a modernized Draven Ezreal where it's kind of like the aggressive deck with the uh, pretty standard tools but the ability to kind of like go throughout the board, semi-tempo, semi-make plays and it's, it's a bit of a tricky deck to pilot if I'm being honest. That's why I want to try and do my best to explain it to you how this deck would work and how you would pilot it in general in certain matchups because we don't run like Karma, we're not looking for that super late game. We want to level up Ezreal, but we don't have to make the game go super late to try and go for the big single turn combo finish. You kind of want to like burn them down a little bit, use your resources throughout the game and get that chip damage. And I think that's where a card like Twist of Fate fits into the list because it just provides that kind of flexibility, those kind of tempo plays and having something to do on turn four and threaten your opponent with a bunch of annoyances. Plus the fact that uh, these cards, especially the gold card, does count as a targetable ability. So it does go towards leveling up Ezreal in that aspect. Outside of that, we are running a lot of the pretty standard Piltover tools. I have a couple of interesting ones at the moment. This is probably subject to change. I just threw together like one of my older lists I had and I think some of these cards may change as we roll over into the new patch. So I'll definitely do another video during that time. But from top to bottom, uh, Zap Spray Fin, awesome, flexible, elusive card. You can work for hitting them in the face, cycling your deck, which this deck does have quite a lot of cycle. And Zap Spray Fin finds an awesome home here. Home here. We curve out literally a four mana. This deck just looks to just burn, burn them out and just really throw them off guard. So Zap Spray Fin just kind of finds its home for the cycle, mainly aspect of it. Twisted Fate does what Twisted Fate does. Our Static Shock is a 3 of, goes along with Twist of Fate, goes along with Ezreal, and this card just makes a lot of sense if you're trying to run Ezreal, it's multiple target ab ability, which goes for leveling up, and uh, as we probably roll over into the patch and we see exactly where the burn decks end up at, this list may be slightly adjusted. Static Shock is still this powerful card regardless, we're running Salvage because in terms of tossing cards, we don't have to be too concerned about what we get rid of. We're never going to get rid of Ezreal. We're never going to get rid of Twist of Fate. And we're always going to have X amount of spells. So it's just literally cycle when your hand starts to become dead. Plus it's a burst speed spell, which can go alongside Ezreal once he's leveled and just can't be, you can't interact with it, which is really just a bit frustrating. Uh, gotcha finds a new home here. Bit of cycle, bit of removal. Uh, discarding cards is a bit more, uh, kind of, it's a bit more, it's not that bad, but Gotcha just for the ability, because we're running Gotcha instead of get excited, right? So um Gotcha is this can can be drawn, sometimes played for two mana, which in this list in particular can be quite relevant because we do kind of burn through the deck, we do draw some cards here and there, and finding that two mana gotcha can make a bit of a difference. But in terms of discarding cards, we haven't really got that much good synergy, so Gotcha finds more of a home here. Uh, in terms of its 4 mana cost, it's not going to impact you too much. Only here and there you might find it's a bit clunky, but in general, deal 3 to a unit. Leveling up Ezreal makes a lot of sense. Chumpwomp is a, still a pretty standard fit in terms of Ezreal. He's a decent mid-range minion. He provides a body, he provides mushrooms, which can be used alongside discarding with rummage or just used for late game uh, bursting down your opponent. 
Our Petty Officer finds a pretty interesting home here. Flexible card. A lot of the time I feel like I'm playing this to summon one cost allies, but every now and then you'll be getting those kegs so you can buff up your spells for doing X amount of things. This is just, Petty Officer is a really good three drop and it's a really powerful build water card. Very amazing card, love it. It's starting to really grow on me. Highly recommend you run this. Mystic Shot three of, it's probably a good fit. Uh, like there's, I'm not even gonna go into too much detail about this, but this card is this Mystic Shot. It's flexible. It's literally just a powerful Piltover card. Nothing can replace a card like that for a long time, I believe. Uh, Make It Rain, amazing fit. Makes this whole Bilgewater Ezreal kind of make a lot more sense when you see cards like this. Each individual target will level up Ezreal and this card is insane for removing minions, especially as we roll over into the next patch and I think aggro players try to focus on more of a, a board centric deck, then Make It Rain is gonna find a lot of powerful effects, especially alongside your kegs as well. Hence we have our Dread, uh, Dreadway Deckhand and we have Petty Officer. We'll see how these things turn out. This is going to be a real powerful archetype, I believe. And just uh, to fulfill out the rest of the deck, we've got like Rummage here, Cycle, uh, Discarding Cards. Can suck every now and then, but Burst Speed can also be used alongside Ezreal for finishing off your opponent. Parlay is probably, uh, we already mentioned this before, but it's probably like one of the cards that could be considerable a note for changing soon. But for now, it's kind of cool. It found a lot more of its uh, place against aggro. But as aggro might be changing, we'll have to wait and see where parlay ends up. But still, it's targeting, it's dealing damage to the Nexus. It's a pretty amazing one uh, cost card. And Thermo Beam, as I've said before in the past. Piltover, you're running a deck like this with a strategy like this, you're probably running Thermo Beam. This card is insane. I've said it before, super flexible. Uh, you do have to be kind of wary about uh, when and where you play it, especially when you're trying to like line up certain turns because the fact that it spends all your mana as soon as you play it, uh, you can definitely uh, find yourself in an awkward position where you can't play this appropriately. So you have to try and work around it a little bit. So that like wraps up the list. I believe the list is going to look generally the same, but uh, as time goes on and we see exactly where the meta settles, it may change, but I believe this archetype is going to be powerful. And as I said, we went on a fucking rampage today and we were versing like all the meta decks. Like we're not, we haven't even rolled over into the new patch yet. I'm still finding a lot of success with it. So enjoy the games. We literally versed every meta deck under the sun. So uh, it really shows the power of it. And I can't wait for the new patch to come out. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon. So by the way, sea monsters didn't get touched, but the archetypes around it did. But like sea monsters was generally pretty strong against aggro. And then maybe the slight tweak to Grizzled Ranger might help it against mid range, but barely. So I think C Monsters matchups are still the same. I'm not sure if it's even relevant that Karma got nerfed or Deep Meditation got nerfed. It got really, it got hit really hard. It got really hit really hard against certain matchups, I guess. Because I mean, mo a lot of the matchups. Hang on, one sec. Um, we're seeing people are just really gunning for the last breath of their powerful decks. This hand looks pretty cool. I don't know if the Pali is doing anything. Cause like, I feel like I've played Lux Karma before and like, I've just had all these cards and I'm just like not playing them because like, there's no point or like my opponent, it's just all about the value. So I don't know. Like obviously they're gonna struggle against like new aggro decks if they rise up. But if I'm playing Lux Karma versus like, I don't know, another control deck, like I'm just not spending my mana anyway. So we always pass here. So we're about to get standalone. <laughs> Alright, how do I beat this? He wants to play standalone. I can actually kill the Zed. I have to wait till he commits though. So he'd have to go standalone. I don't know. Hang on. I can kill you. Plus three is five. He always wants to stand alone before he attacks. I got a thermo. That's true. Let's gonna start off with this. Wait, hang on. Do they run barrier? No, not traditionally. So I guess it is Mystic Shot. Limited resources. If he's five head and like held back his standalone, I would I would not know why he did that. 
Yep, this guy's a bit of a goose. I'm honestly just gonna play Ezreal and slap him in the face next turn. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. No, he was committed, wasn't he? That's true. I forget that like sometimes I I'm no good at card games. I'm sitting there like, oh dude. I'll wait till he commits standalone, but he has to commit it before the attack, so he probably never had it. He probably doesn't have it. And I don't think they run any cards to interact with my Ezreal outside of their elusive blockers or their elusive units. And then he plays something, I'll just slap it with a Mystic Shot. It'd be five head to pass it back to me. So I realistically should just pass here and give up the Mystic Shot so he wastes all that mana. Because if I play it, then yeah, it feels bad. Because I can just repeat this, dude. I can just keep repeating this. They run single combat. Yes. No? Yes. Do not fear it's your boy, time. Zed. How do I deal with you? How do I effectively deal with you, at least? How do I effectively deal with you? I mean, I the Thermo Beam always uh, makes sense. Speed things up a little. Thermo into gotcha. And then he plays deny and attacks me. Or I just play Thermo straight up and then he denies and still attacks me. Yeah. I'm expecting a deny. He's had a pretty like weird hand, right? So he hasn't had like standalone and stuff like that. So yeah, if he plays standalone though, he gets to attack me. So it's burst speed. So that's my action. Now he's going to get to attack. I can tank the damage here though, so that's fine. Or I can sacrifice Ezreal. Yo, soft man. How's it going? Let's have a good start in the stream a bit earlier. Now I kill you. I just don't. So now he gets the action, so he gets to attack me. I can tank. I'm supposed to tank this, aren't I? Nah, I can't be right. It's too much damage. Especially if he's, uh... I couldn't tell you. I need this Ezreal, though. Whatever, I'll tank it. The Thermo Beam should still kill him, unless he has double Radiant Strike. Then I'll get punished. I'm not gonna play around double Radiant Strike. Double Radiant Strike. Oh, Health Potion. Skill and grace to tear your breath. Fuck, man. He still would have survived the Thermo Beam anyway. Okay. Once again, Mojo, what's going on here? <laughs> hey man, good to see you streaming earlier today. How was your day, man? <laughs> Day's just starting. Slept till about 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Got up as soon as I could, had a shower. Went out, got a coffee, had some noodles. Turned my stream on straight away. How you going, Mojo? Thanks for the donation. And just hanging out for my almost finished sub badges. Actually, since you've been donating me most so much, dude, I gotta show you where the money's been going. Crazy. This is the start of the sub badges. They're nearly complete. This is just one of the photos I had here. One, two, one month, two months, three months. Three months become badass, dude. I guess that is Hail Mary the um Hail Mary the make it rain, right? Hail Mary. Probably should have attacked first actually. We'll see if I get punished here. Son of a bitch. Hey dude, mob psycho. Can I zoom in?
Yeah, snap, they look really good. Yeah, it's all you, Mojo. <laughs> um, we might have to sit down and have a serious talk one day. So hopefully I get to connect to Ezreal. That's going to be really important. One shot, all skill. I probably could have swung with the 2-2 two -two as well, actually, but uh, maybe I might need a blocker. So he never wants to allow his attack to go through because the Mystic Shot might kill him. Yeah, he, he would be having Deny now. He would have Deny. Yeah, I think they do look really good. She's the same person who um did my uh, emotes. Although I've only got one unlocked. Got more ready to go. So this Mystic Shot always works, right? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I'll drop that really quickly. There we go. Just a little bit of uh... <laughs> I can't... I can't do this. <clears throat> I just can't kill him. Alright. I need to put up blockers. Obviously, I have to block this. I could like risky, make a rummage and look for something to try and save my Ezreal. And we probably just ditch the salvage and the chump one. I'll have a crack at it. So then we do like... Yes, and this. Die! Literally, just die! <laughs> I'll try and save my Ezreal if possible. Plus, I do need this to work in case he has double fucking, uh... Shoot. <laughs> Mob. Yes, the, yes, sir, it is. Mob Psycho. So we always play a Petty Officer, and we probably need a one drop here. In case he has uh, some sort of play. Hmm. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly I would have preferred to have a... Uh... That's okay. I probably should have... Ah! Oh! Ah! He already attacked. I'm safe. Don't worry. I'm all good. Okay, I'm going to play you. Did you catch the patch notes? I sure did. Any thoughts, Mojo? Do I just play a keg? I mean, leveling up Ezreal is kind of just like the play, right? You do it afterwards, though. Because I can, like, use the Mystic Shot now, but doesn't really... No. I should have used the Parlay first. But I wasn't playing around Unyielding Spirit. So we'll use the Parlay now. Oh, dude, this kind of... The ordering sucks here. So what would be more damage if I just Parlay drop the Keg onto her? Which will allow these to deal extra. I think it ends up about the same anyway. I want to send these to the face. What I should have done was before I attacked, I should have used the parlay on the Fiora. I would have pushed two damage there. And uh, it would have been like one extra damage off the Ezreal. So these are just going to the face. I can hold on to this one for now. <clears throat> Do I necessarily need to use this one right now? I don't think so. I can't even use it. I have no mana. What am I thinking? Oh, this is just a card we need. Fuck, don't pull the Ezreal. Don't have an answer for the Ezreal. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. 
This guy's a real big player, dude. We're versing some strong people right now. Ah, you suck. Yeah, this guy's face. I'm pretty with the, happy with the patch overall. I think they touched what they needed to be fixed without drastically altering the meta. A couple of things I thought were a bit weird was making Broad go to 6. Yeah, actually we didn't talk about that earlier, but I thought that was pretty weird. Also, Softman said, I mean, they've got to get the standalone plan out of their system before it goes away. True, and I just first burn aggro deck before. Yeah, the Broad going to 6 was kind of like pretty send, wasn't it? Now here's the question. Do I just play these now and hope that he draws into them? He's just gonna single combat me. If I see him drop one single combat and not another one, I'll play my mushroom clouds. Light buff is cool. This game's over by the way. Look at him hovering two single combats like a big gentleman. I also saw that they were thinking of touching pilfered goods. Hopefully they don't nerf the card. But a good suggestion I saw was instead... What is this Will of Ionia? Oh yeah, I'm on the attack token, right. Why the fuck would you do that? Taking it from the bottom. That helps to interact with uh, Omen Hawk buffs and stuff like that. He wants me not to play my Mushroom Clouds because he's not sitting on single combat, obviously. So in that case, I'll take my chances here. I don't know what's correct here, but I'm taking my chances, dude. We're talking 10 Puff Cups out of 25. I'll, you telling me I have a chance? Are you telling me I have a chance, dude? Let me tell you about chances. I guess I just swing with you. I mean, I could be pushing one extra damage, but it's kind of risky if uh, there's like a single... I don't know what's correct here. I don't know what is correct. I could also play Keg. Right. Yeah, no, exactly right, Dino. You know. What slow plays can affect me here if I just play Petty Officer? It's my time. This is my time. Let me play the game. Rain yes. Sky. It's my time. Let me play. I want to have fun. Yeah. Oh. Stand alone forever. You can go stand alone somewhere else, dude. Faint. Yo, early stream. Late for you guys, earlier for me. Are we here? We're gonna slowly adjust it back a little bit. I wanted to get on a bit earlier today. I aimed for like about another hour before this. Uh, we got here when we did. I thought I'd pop in because I know many of you guys are from the US and A. And you know, you guys are jumping in and watching my stream at fucking like 11, 12, 1 a.m. at Fucking night time, which feels bad, man. Slowly piss the wife off. <laughs> My wife? Your wife. Our wives. Yo. I'm a kicker, dude. Listen. Blind Heimerdinger. Ah, uh, what do I... What do I keep here? All wives. <laughs> Yeah, faint. Since you just popped in, I'll show you what everyone's support's been helping. But uh, I was asleep when she sent it to me, so I could have like received the package. But because she sent me the final product and said, "Are you happy with this?" I'm supposed to like tick or like say yes, and then I get to get the downloads and stuff. But I haven't got it. 
Dude, season two was a work of God. I'm not the only one, dude. Fuck her out. I guess we're passing here. We're now we're now a weeb channel, by the way, guys. We play card games and we weeb out. Okay. So he's doing nothing with his mana, which I think I need to be pressuring him just a slight tad because he's just gonna get Heimerdinger on turn five with three mana if I don't force him to use it. He always demo beams the Ezreal if he has it. I guess he can play like Keg for a one drop. He doesn't even need to play units, which is kind of sad. I guess I just need to go for the one drops here or draw cards. I don't know. I can make him. I can force him to float this mana. He wants to react to my cards. I don't know. I'll pass for now. I guess I just play the biggest unit in my hand. Yeah, Mob Psycho is definitely one of the animes I've enjoyed the most. Hence why you can see that it's becoming a badge. He plays a dude that has a bit of a bit of a annoyance to me. So I never swing here. I never swing because he's 3-2 just bumps into my 4-3. How do I how do I effectively kill you to guarantee that you die this turn? I could drop a thermo beam on you just to guarantee that you actually die, which I think is kind of important. I would hate to see double flash of brilliance, but he might be sitting on twin disciplines. Nothing else makes as much sense as honestly dropping a fucking thermo beam. Or I could like petty officer deckhand parlay. Wait, it doesn't make any sense, actually. Misplay. I can still throw my beam at this point, so I haven't stuffed up my turn too much. And you'll never swing here. Oh no, but now- Oh, dude. I'm making so many weird plays. I'm not getting punished for them either. I guess I'll take this opportunity now, deal six. That was weird. I mean, in the end. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is he just trying to get the one elusive unit off? Holy shit. What are you doing, dude? Like, um, maybe he... I don't know if he knows that that's about to kill him. Did he know that was going to happen? And he just prioritized the single? I don't know. Do you normally do that? Is that correct? I don't know. So he's not gonna play Heimerdinger this turn, so knowing that... Easy parlay. Yeah, sort of. It looked pretty easy, but I just went like double barrels. I also considered that the twin disciplines would stuff me up. And I was in a, I was in a position where I could afford to just drop a thermo beam on him. But luckily enough, we were able to develop a unit while playing thermo beam to achieve the same goal. I thought he would have attacked there straight away. Oh, you mean now it's an easy parlay? Yeah. I'm also thinking about playing Zap Sprayfin. Do it now? I'll listen to the man himself, because I'm just, I'm diamond. I'm actually diamond for trash. And he probably plays something. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
It leaves him on three mana. He has no productive plays to make unless he plans on summoning another Claws of the Dragon. At this point, I could drop Ezreal. It dies to a Thermo Beam. I guess I can't allow that for now. I guess in, in the end, if you're unsure about playing Ezreal, don't play Ezreal. I think that's like... Just what I understand. He might drop a Thermo Beam on this. So in that case... How important is my board? I need to level up Ezreal. So if I use a Thermo Beam, I can like actually push three damage. And in this specific list, we don't have like the ton of value at the end. It's kind of like, this is like a similar version to like uh, Draven Ezreal. It's more like, I guess, uh, modern, modernized version. So I guess maintaining chip damage here kind of in the end ends up being the same. Loving the patch fix. How you going, 10? What's up, man? Welcome. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for everyone for popping in. You know how it is. We out here making that um, wholesome Runeterra content. This game's been pretty cool so far. I'm also recording these. So I have a theory. I even swim had the same theory. But I also had the same theory before he said it. That uh, Twisted Fate Ezreal might become something of an interesting archetype. Uh, coming into the patch. You know, you know, right, dude, they've had, uh, they've been doing patch notes for like 10 years. So he's just playing a bunch of cards. I should probably punish him here by going kind of wide on the board. So I'll open up with the deck hand. I'm not sure if that's correct. I had a comment in one of my YouTube videos. I was saying, hey, can you do something with a Vlad deck? And now might be the time. So I don't actually think I need the uh, kegs. I just want the one cost ally. Yo, Bark Beast. I mean, now with Deep Meditation though, it kind of incentivizes you to focus more on actually building around it. Because you still get to play a 3 mana draw 2. I'm expecting like a static shock here or something. Broad nerf was kind of weird. I agree. I mean they changed it to 5 mana, they changed it to 6 mana. Like, I did watch Swim's video on it. Just a single, this is a really weird play. Hey, everyone just look at this play for a moment, all right? Can anyone see what's wrong here? Someone tell me what's wrong here, guys. I'm just going to let that sit there. I think it's important to think about what's happening. I'm actually going to rope him because he's being a fool. Yeah, because I'm going to rope him now to make sure that once he sees what happens, It'll really stand into his mind because right now he's like, man, this guy's so toxic. Look at him roping me, dude. And then boom. And that happens. This gets buffed. Oh, fuck my brain. I shouldn't be too toxic. I misplay a lot though. So we all have to learn. Chat's popping off at the moment, dude. Master yourself. Yeah, dude, I don't, I, don't, I don't think Broad's going to be too hard to replace in, like, Karina. You won't have as much spider synergy. But maybe it might push them to move on from it. 
I didn't even like it that much. A five. Stanolin was kind of weird too. Stanolin's kind of dead, if I'm being honest. Do you want to go back to work? Yeah, I, I, what Dina Rea just said, that's what I was kind of thinking. Because you run broad, because you run at least, and it doesn't feel as bad. But if you're not running broad, then you have less spiders, you have less synergy. So he's on the um, attack token. What do I What do I do here? I never play you. Salvage. Guess I can play you. It's still our attack token, isn't it? I'm just going to start like slapping spells into, um, Lisa. Tell you what, 10, if you find anything saucy, send it my way. I guess I end the round. Alright, so I'm going to be playing lots of spells this turn to like try and power level up Ezreal. We won't be discarding anything. We kind of have a lot of resources here that I want to keep so that I can utilize Ezreal to the max. I'll see this through. So he hasn't got barrier yet. I fight with the dragon's fury. Since Shen and Vladimir are both buffed, we should try them. I feel like they don't have quite as much synergy though. Am I, am I wrong? Because the barrier kind of gets cocked a little bit. So I should just allow this to go through, right? Feels kind of weird, but um... So in terms of the stack, Gotcha should come first. We need to try and kill this Lee Sin. I've got something saucy. <laughs> you know? With burn nerfed as well, Batman and Lux Karma, there is room to experiment. Shen Omega Lol. Barrier counts as survive. True, I guess like it kind of does stop the um uh, I'm on I, I get yeah, your wave level of thinking, I'm Hello, I'm in the dirt, down here, in the gutter, I'm a gutter deck builder, providing average Runeterra content for the viewers. So now I kind of planned for this to happen. That's why I got just first on the stack. So then I can probably lean towards Static Shock. And then he denies it. I mean, he would have just denied that if he had it. He denies that instead. I'm just going to keep going down the rabbit hole here a little bit. He denies the card draw, which makes me th consider a rummage. Hmm. You suck. In my thoughts. Only you always did think too much. Oh, here's an important turn, isn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, what's it do for two mana that interact with my Ezreal? Not a lot. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna choose to play Ezreal now. Because I think I'm, I might be going too slow if I don't. Nah, can't be right. Let's draw some cards. I'll take this chance. You're telling me I have a chance here? You're telling me I have a chance? Yes! I am the best card game player in the world.
You actually have six wins in expedition. Good luck, man. Your last game, you don't get to. You only get the one chance. Oh fuck! I'm gonna open attack here while I have numbers advantage. And I'll probably play the gotcha during the combat step. So I want to preserve my... Like, I need to have something to target with my spells, right? So probably the elusive goes down. I think I, when I played the rummage, I should have actually discarded the other rummage. That was a bit of an overlook. Because now I find myself in a position where my hand is a possible win, but it's currently not. So for two mana, he can play nothing to really interact with this. I don't think he can inter interact with this. Even a reduction on Thermo Beam, it only deals three. Unless he has a couple of one mana Mystic Shots. A couple of zero mana Mystic Shots could have done it. One mana, I mean. So I'm just gonna slam this in so I can catch him with the rummage without any outplay potential. Oh fuck, I think we got this. <laughs> he can burst out a health potion. If he plays a unit, then I'll play this and this will guarantee my chances more. So at this point he knows I have the Mushroom Cloud, so if he doesn't have the reaction play then he knows he's already lost, so... Playing the Chump Womp just allows me to have pure information about his hand and... At least I don't have to worry about making a mistake. If he has an answer, he will. If he doesn't, he doesn't. We're rocking burst speed and mushroom clouds. And as he's looking, he's fishing for a health potion. Doesn't matter. Burst speed always wins. Oh, my favorite deck. This is the matchup. I dream of. Okay, so I got a thing. This thing gets a lot better when these things get nerfed. This is good. This is a good curve, right? I mean, Parlay gives me a chance. You're telling me I have a chance that if he hasn't got the rear guard, Sergeant Opener, I can kill his unit. You son of a bitch. I'll catch you next time. Outplayed. Crazy mechanics. Godlike reaction speed, unbelievable presence. You son of a bitch, I've got nothing productive to do turn two though. Which is a bit of a stinker. Of course I'm ready. All right, what is this? I was just messing. Only thing I've been messing around with is Zed Heck. Okay, okay. Hegrim's getting buffed, five attack. I'm not sure how useful that is though. So, I should always play Petty Officer here, right? And fish for a decent one drop. Right? Because the Mystic Shot doesn't really make much of a difference. Something with 2 HP would be good to chump into these, you guys. Or I could... Yeah, I don't know. We've got Twist of Fate next turn. So I think the Yeti Yearling goes into the Boom Crew. This just trades into the Rear Guard. I can do this. No. How do I do this? I got the vision. I 
see the line. I see the line. I'll let him attack first. I see the line. Wait, what's the line again? <laughs> I saw it before. There was a way I could clear his whole board next time with Twisted Fate and Gold Card. Actually, I don't think I see it anymore. I swear I saw a line where I cleared his board with gold card next turn. Oh man. That's okay. I was like, that was an exciting turn though. Honestly, <laughs> that was hella hypey. Because I took three damage, so I'm gonna change my line now to like do something with the red card instead. To try and make up for my misplay. I'm always up for a round or two. Frickin' Baron! I mean this is a pretty good line. The line was good until I did not take the block. I mean you do when you tank the three one with the Yeti. No. I guess I didn't. I don't know where I thought I saw the line. So I never trade here now. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, like I saw a vision. Like in um, Avengers fucking Age of Ultron. I had a vision. Oh, you suck. I still can't attack now. So I took 3 damage, could be a 12, but I chose not to be. I gotta assume that he hasn't got blood transfusion here, and just take the appropriate blocks where I can. 10 HP to clear, with red you have max 9, and 3 plus 1 plus 2. Look at this! Look at this! Math mathematical geniuses. Yeah, I butchered that turn. That's fine. I never roped so much on a single turn where I was thinking in a long time. Which is good. Here's a good signs for the future. Um, He's either got... Get Excited, Blood Transfusion, Mystic Shot. Maybe all three. Noxium Fervor. Show me the money. I think blood transfusion is the backbreaker here. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's okay. My back is not broken. Is that Fuck. Win this. 
I hope that he draws only minions on the defense that he plays. And I... 4 out of 8. I lean towards Chump One for a sec, but I won't actually get those Mystic Shots. <laughs> Maybe you can fucking win with Buff Caps. Maybe. I still have to be psych shock here. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Yep, we tanking with Ez. I was fishing for like something, like a mystic shock, which I did find, but not too late. <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> Decimate time, baby. Show me the money! Show me the money! Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, let's just assume that he has like, really bad cards. And then I just play my biggest dudes. Yeah, this is gonna be the play. Play my big guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe it. They see the patch notes, they see what's coming, and they're like, they're like, oh, dude, I'm running out of time. I'm never gonna reach masters, dude. Never gonna do it. I need to play my deck before the patch notes come out, because I don't know how to build decks, and I can't wait for the decks to come out. Oh my god. What am I gonna do when rear guard gets nerfed? Oh, dude, it never ends. I can win this matchup. I just can't beat five health potions. So he's gonna be doing a whole lot of nothing for the first two turns. I think I keep the Mystic Shot so I can try and clear some stuff on his board. And they like, eye the dragon if he plays it. That card could be quite annoying over time. <clears throat> and push chip damage. Be nothing left when I'm done. Yes. Chip damage helps us out a lot. We want to smack his face so it can make the uh, damage we deal later in the game a lot easier. <clears throat> Sick play. So I could possibly kill it, clear it. This is four plus five. Five head plays. I'm surprised this card's getting fucking buffed actually now that we're talking about it. I thought this card was like okay. It wasn't something you went out of your way to build. But they're giving a five attack. There's been a few examples of great horn companion where I've just ignored his attacks because my trades didn't line up that well. Now he's gonna have five attack. So now you can't ignore him and have to take shit trades into him. I guess I don't need to play Twisted Fate right away. On 4 mana, he wants to play Grizzled Ranger. 
I guess I can just play Zap Spray Fin to guarantee some damage and cycle my deck. Drawing cards is kind of important. I also could have been really five head and passed that back to him. He would have played something. Oh. He didn't play the full mana 4 1. Regardless, I'm still going to swing to control the board. They don't want to invalidate scouts. I don't I don't hate it, don't get me wrong. I'm just um I didn't see it coming. Like that was a bit of a curveball for me. Because no one plays it, so I guess I didn't like I guess we didn't really understand if it was weak or not. But Rito did. I mean it's cool. A five mana five five for scout. That's a pretty good mid-range card. The spirit gives to those who listen. Yeah, the four attack wasn't a problem. The health is, would have made it really strong. So he plays a 1 mana 1 3 that's going to get him lots of life still over time. Okay, what are they running? They run. They don't run barrier. I need to clear this unit. But well, maybe not right now. Because it could actually be a bit of a hindrance for him summoning units. It gives me more targets for my spells. So he's not going to play any spells. I'm not going to play any spells. He can lose that mana. Yeah, definitely soft man and faint. More health would be nutty. More health would be money. Six HP in this game kind of finds its relevance a lot of the time. Like we saw Hecarim as a 4-6. That was fucking strong. For six mana, he wants to start playing cards like Lux and like starting to be kind of productive here. I can slow down his production by playing like Twisted Fate and being like kind of annoying. Forcing him into weird spells like single combat. Question is, do I draw or do I stun? And we, we're, we're missing out on the mana, but drawing cards is kind of important. I guess I'm just going to stun. I could also deal one to everything. Never lost a fair game. We've got card draw. I've got a few cards in hand. At least I've five mana. I can swing with everything at this point. We'll bring peace to Ionia. So he can play Deny. He can play Deny here. So I swing with you. I think I'm swinging here. Single combat. Gotta trust your instincts. A double mystic shot to beat single combat. I'm gonna try this. There's a weird line where I go... <laughs> this is hella spicy. What if I go Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, Thermo Beam? It guarantees clearing it, but if he has Health Potion, it really fucks me up. So I've got to hope for a Deny here. But he can't. Yeah, if he has Health, it's weird. He can't actually play Health Potion without denying one of these. So this is pretty good. Right. Use deny. Use deny, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's like, hang on. If I use deny, he can play thermo beam. I don't know if I'm three head or five head right now. Hesitation to tell. I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like random cards. Yes! Yeah! No. Suck my ass. <laughs> Outplayed. Outplayed. Hell yeah, hundred percent. I'm the fucking man. You must have been super fucking tilted. Horina! So against Karina, 
I guess I can just keep cycle. And I don't think I ever tempo out Ezreal. Mystic Shot helps barely. Unless I keep the Deckhand plus Mystic Shot, then I can maybe clear a release. Did you? Reversing all the meta decks today, which is good. There's nothing to Thermo beam. Look at us. We're actually insane. Yeah. I've got cards to play. Which card feels correct? None of them feel really good. I'm gonna do a five head pass for Neo. Chomp Womp. So if I play this, he plays Gotcha or something like that. I forget this is a bad matchup for us, isn't it? Because he doesn't want to play any units if he doesn't have to. So he needs exactly gotcha, which is a really, really bit of a bummer. I don't like that he's only spending four mana to deal with my dudes. I probably should have developed last turn. Still, I think we have to play you. I have to count all his removal that he uses. So he goes for the grasp instead of the gotcha. So he hasn't got gotcha in hand. Okay. So I'm going to draw some cards. Before or after. Okay. If I do it before, then it makes it easier for me to play Zap Spray Finn on the open. I don't lose that mana, so I don't mind this line. Which I'm going to play Zap Spray Finn now. Keep up. Keep up. Gotcha. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch. You yeah, top deck that. Insane, please. I guess I have to do like a five head pass here. Let's see if he plays something. He won't. He did. I'm just gonna farm by <laughs> for stacks on my Israel. I need to find Thermo Beam though. I don't need a plan. Okay. Gotta go with the flow. Take You whack the double vile face down zap spray fin instead of playing like mystic shot or something.
There's no point for me to stun it other than buffing Ezreal. And pushing two damage, possibly. I guess I draw cards here. I'm not getting the stack, but I've got I've got to use these cards. Yep. We're pretty crazy. Slow play here. I would love to see a slow play here. This is like uh, making me like concentrate quite a lot. Because this is kind of a hard matchup, which I probably shouldn't even be playing. But I'd be curious. So the most obvious play he should be making here is just open attacking. Okay, I could stun him. So I think we go for the stun, correct? Never lost a fair game or played one. I guess he didn't really like think about Twisted Fate number two. The stun still goes off, which buys me quite a bit of time. Because him leveling up by this turn kind of feels very bad. Like I don't really, at this point, I don't think I'm killing the Vi necessarily. I guess I almost could. If I was to do nothing, let this go through. Okay. Hold it, partner. End the round here, that's crazy. Need to target his units more. Good. I need to farm this fire to level up my Ezreal. So I'm not going to kill it necessarily. I'm aware it didn't kill it, buddy. I'm not crazy. Fuck, where's Ezreal there? I'm literally just farming the Vi. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the other static shocks. I'm not crazy, man. <laughs> Looks like trouble. What hand are you sitting on?
What hand do you have? Maybe he's sitting on like double Karina. We're doing whale. Let's go to Ezreal. Don't know what they're up against. I play Ezreal. I shoot spells. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. What hand do you have? What cards do you have in your hand? It must be like quadruple withering whale or something. You would have used one. What the fuck is happening right now? Lethal. If I use make it rain last, I might have lethal. So I guess I don't use make it rain last. Thermo beam for if he drops like Karina or something. Come closer. I don't bite. I've whipped up something special. Sixteen cards left. Now we're fishing for the Ezreal with Sphinx. We almost had lethal there. The thermo beam got me, but we were very close. Block you. You dare. Withering Whale has to be a card that's here. What the? I want a random one cost ally. That's a GG. Not quite. Unless I take a risky Thermo Beam play. <laughs> and I could push more damage. I think it's worth it. I'll go for it. Because right now I'm pushing one damage. I could possibly push more. Risky Thermo Pog. Because then now I haven't got the Ezreal to combo with it though, which is a bit of a problem. He needs oh he might you may I don't know what his hand is, if I'm being honest guys. He has these two cards that have sat there for so long and it has to be like triple Lidros or something. Okay, he had Mystic Shot. Well thing, buddy. Just waiting to see what moves I made. Our attack token. <laughs> no, it's not our attack token. We're dead. Oh, you drew a mushroom. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you almost won that game. 
Ah, uh, feels bad for him, dude. Holy shit. Oh boy. Wait, hang on. What is this uh, garbage, dude? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. And of course, yours truly. Whiskey Thermo Beam works every time. In the end, I would have pushed the same amount of damage. But, you know, I forced him into using a Mystic Shot against uh, me units instead of me face. But that didn't make much of a difference now, did it? Would you message me, Cheesy? Oh, <laughs> he clipped it. Thanks, Cheesy. He used to not. Suck my ass. <laughs> He could have shot the elusive otherwise. That's true. All of a notification. All of a notification? Question mark? That sound clip. Wait, it didn't suck my ass. <laughs> I get it now. I see where you come from. I thought it did sound pretty funny. I say a lot of cooked stuff when I'm not on stream. That like every now and then pops out on stream and I try and keep it to a minimum. Like saying weird shit like that. <laughs> so I guess I'll play a uh, three mana three one that gives me units on field. Thought I was epic. <laughs> I actually just, I watched the clip then and I was having a good fucking giggle. Here you guys are. I'm not gonna play it again, you guys already saw it. Thanks for clipping that cheesy, you're the man. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I guess I play a open attack here. If I play a 4-3, he can play a what? What does he play here? I'm not entirely sure what units. He runs. He like thermo beam this. The upside's pretty powerful. I got ways to find me mushrooms. If I'm still like a yodel, yeah, I try to calm myself down also by my <laughs> vernacular. Can be pretty crazy. Vernacular? Verbal ver verbal uh verbal communication. What if I just thermo beam your face? Oh, do you want to and then I push lots of damage or force you into retreating it. You son of a bitch, that's a lot of damage. Oh, he also reacts with a thermo beam. So in the end, our four damage, we've turned into five damage after all that craziness. Hey, not bad. I think, were you trying to say verbula? I don't know. Curriculum. Cur verbula, verbula. <laughs> Hello, English? English? Can I speak the words properly? I'm doing <laughs> Your mum. I don't have a good way to deal with that. <laughs> if I thermo beam it now, he always swings into my one two, right? And then I can like eat fucking suck it up. Vernacular. Ah Thermo beam just somehow feels incorrect here. I'm gonna summon a powder keg to try and bait him into swinging into it. This is a bait keg. We call it the bait keg. The bait keg right here, dude. You son of a bitch. 
Oh, you worked it out. No, oh, damn, dude. The bait cake. Fuck. Nah, is there any reason for me to play a thermo beam that deals three damage? Nah, seems weird. Hang on. The language or dialect spoken by ordinary people in a particular country or region. This was the definition. <laughs> I've never heard that word before. I'm I'm impressed. Very strong uh, vocabulary. All right, so he he's playing Lisa and Vi. They run like barriers and shit, don't they? So if I go if I go full send and just send a thermo beam into him, it probably won't work. It probably won't work. <laughs> So I guess I'll go for the gotcha first. Is this ever weird? Be correct. I don't know. It means that I have a chance to clear it with these guys. It's master's vocabulary. You guys wouldn't understand. What? Yo! Unbelievable! Our play! You son of a bitch! You got me. Oh, yeah, sorry about all the transitions. Uh, that was a bit weird. My bad. Um. So, like, chances are if I drop a thermo, it's gonna kill Vi now. You tell me there's a chance. You know me, guys. I love to take chances. He obviously played this because he was worried I'd get a good trade off with this, right? I spent more resources this turn, but I'm leveling up Ezreal. The outcome is still pretty good for me. This trade feels bad. Board presence is kind of important. Ugh. Trial of evidence. Incredible. It's a random two cost card, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's another Vi. How do I deal with you? I don't. I pass. He's gonna rip the uh, chump one. fuck was that all about? Tempo out one of the head struggles here. I think I have a decent opportunity to maybe get something done. And he can't clear it without Thermo Beam or a Gotcha. We'll see what happens here. I have another elusive unit here as well. The other Ezreal's in her hand, so that's fine. I'm just gonna avoid the Thermo Beam and I can't play around the Gotcha or they get excited, but that's okay. Gonna accept a will. How do I deal with you? Ah, oh, deep meditation. I guess at this point, we're just going to draw some cards and start to actually hit our parlays onto him. Like obviously, I'm just gonna do what I did with the last match and that's farm the Vi, just to get my stacks off.
Because I don't think I'm going to kill it, but maybe I can kill him. Do I salvage now? Yeah. I guess I can float a couple manners. So he's always going to swing and drop mushroom clouds into my deck. Oh shit, he slow played. We just drew a TF as well. We've been drawing like drawing very insanely in these games, I'll be honest. So this stun comes becomes like super relevant this turn. Doesn't matter who we kill. Just buying one more turn is massive. We've got burst speed spells. He might even deny this. Incredible. His Lee Sin's probably not far from leveling up. This levels up Ezreal. Like, I don't care about the barrier at all, buddy. I'm literally just leveling up Ezreal. Come out. That's how we do it. I'm sweating this game so much, man. Jesus. So I'm going to play Ezreal here. I'm, so good, I and I'm literally about to start ending his day. Literally. I'm gonna use Ezreal's Mystic Shot here. So it's fast speed without a reaction. And I'll take the rest of the burst spells next turn. That should be a GG. Ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Ah. Incredible. GG. Thanks, Faint. You too, man. Back to Diamond 3 for the 50th time. Feels good to be back. At this point, I like to start memeing around. Drop my rank down a bit more. Go back to where we started. But damn, boy, this list is performing. I'm versing all these meta decks that haven't even been nerfed yet. Incredible.